Jody Emmy on Monday, November 22nd, back with my second of my weekly updates I'll be doing for POT TV. Uh, Mark has been moved. In my last video update, I let you know that he wasn't going to be going to Taft anymore, but that we didn't know where he was going. Now we do know where he is, uh, and he has been sent there. It's to a prison in Georgia. It's called the D. Ray James Correctional Institution, and it's in southern Georgia. It's a private facility that holds all non-Americans. So right now, Mark is one of about six Canadians among about 700 Mexicans and a few other nationalities. I think there's a Jamaican guy and a, a Swedish guy or some, some other non-American citizens. Uh, but it makes it very challenging to be surrounded entirely by a different language. Uh, the communication barrier is difficult. And it's also a brand new facility, so all the staff are overworked and uh, overwhelmed with the number of new federal inmates coming in because this facility only opened in October as a federal prison. Before then it was a state-run prison with a lot of violence and extortion and very terrifying reports from the families and the inmates and even the prison guards who worked there. It's a private prison run by Geo Group uh, and it's a little better in some ways. It's a low security so Mark is able to go outside and he's able to get some extra salad if you want some more which is really good to know. And he was able to watch English language television for the first time in a long, long time and got to watch, I think it was Family Guy and Two and a Half Men, and he said he laughed a lot. So I know he hasn't laughed in a long time, and that warms my heart to know that he's able to at least get that. But he would really appreciate letters. The address is at CannabisCulture.com and Freemark.ca. You can send him paperback books from anywhere, we've discovered. A hardcover just has to be from Amazon.com or some other uh, business website. But you can send him mail and photos and whatever you like, uh, and please do, because he really needs the support. His U.S. transfer application is underway. We just found out today. Mark filled out the first form, which is a transfer inquiry form, uh, which he was supposed to get in the first 28 days, and so he has received that. And our lawyer, the transfer specialist lawyer we've hired with the money bomb money that we raised, uh, I think it was in October, she has gotten word that Mark has filed the first piece of the paperwork, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but now my campaign is to get Americans to write to the Department of Justice in the United States and tell them to send Mark home. The Canadian side is all underway, that's moving along, and we still need pressure on the Canadian government to bring Mark home. But Americans, please write to the U.S. Justice Department and tell them to send Mark home. The address and contact info are at freemark.ca and cannabisculture.com. We really appreciate all of your support, and it's so absolutely necessary to get Mark back home by this time next year so he can spend Christmas with me instead of being locked up in Georgia this time around. Freemark.ca, CannabisCulture.com, thanks for tuning in and definitely go to CannabisCulture.com to get the Principle of Pot DVD for $20. This is a brand new movie that just came out. It's a documentary uh, following Mark's entire activism career, even before marijuana activism. It's a three DVD set, so you have three different discs inside. And it's a long movie, but if you're interested in Mark's activism and his history of what he's done for freedom and for the world in so many different ways, definitely get the Principle of Pot DVD at the Cannabis Culture online store. $20, great gift, and it's full of footage about Canada's marijuana history and Mark's history in Canada, not just as a marijuana activist, but as a true hero in so many ways. So thanks a lot for tuning in, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Monday.